Neurology quiz number five. What is the phenomenon of augmentation in restless leg syndrome? This is a complication of treatment with dopaminergic agents such as ropinirole and pramipexole. After an initial period of response to these medications, there is increasing symptom severity. Patients require increasing doses of the medications. There is earlier onset of symptoms. There is increased intensity of symptoms, shorter duration of relief, and spread of symptoms to the arms. Risk factors for augmentation include high doses of dopaminergic agents, longer duration of treatment, and presence of iron deficiency. Treatment is difficult and switching to alpha-2 delta ligands like gabapentin may be required. Iron deficiency if present should be treated. Once augmentation occurs, it may reduce response to non-dopaminergic agents. Therefore, using a non-dopaminergic agent like gabapentin as initial therapy in RLS may be preferable. What are the methods for primary and secondary stroke prevention in children with sickle cell disease? Red blood cell transfusion is the most common method of stroke prevention in children with sickle cell disease. Screening with transcranial Doppler can identify high-risk patients and those with mean blood flow velocities more than 200 centimeters per second in the distal ICA or proximal MCA are candidates for RBC transfusion with a target of maintaining hemoglobin S at less than 30%. The major complication of transfusion therapy is iron overload, which can be treated with chelation therapy. The drug hydroxyurea can be used as an alternative to transfusions. If complications develop, it increases the levels of fetal hemoglobin or hemoglobin F. What is the hummingbird sign on MRI brain? This is seen in progressive supranuclear palsy on sagittal T1 brain MRI images. There is atrophy of the midbrain tegmentum and associated widening of the interpeduncular cistern without pontine atrophy. This creates the appearance of the head and body of a hummingbird.